What is up guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you guys some of the latest features in Android 4.2.2. Now I made a, a video when I got the latest update, you should have seen that if you're subscribed to me on YouTube. <clears throat> so today we're actually going to discuss and talk about some of the latest features that come in the update, features that I knew about before the update, features that I've noticed right after the update, and a whole bunch of features as well. Now first of all many people think that it's very laggy because they're scared because 4.1 or 4.2 had a lot of lag so and also when I was installing the update my phone was lagging so many people got scared because I pr assume that they think the lag is in the phone itself but trust me guys it's not. Whenever you install a new ROM or or a new update it normally it takes the phone takes some time to get in the shape of things it actually loads just loads all of your apps all your widgets get loaded it does take some time guys so there's no need to worry about as you can see it's very smooth it's very fast things are I think more a little more smooth since this update I'm not too sure on the smoothness but overall things are flying there's no lag at all as you can see that now the second thing I would like to talk about is battery life my battery life has been very good since this update right now I'm on airplane mode guys because I don't want this phone to go off while I'm doing this video I actually brought used the phone since morning and so we wanted to point out the battery life to you guys so right now I'm on 5% and as you can see I've been on for Ten and a half hours. I didn't fully charge this device when I unplugged it. It was around 93%. As you can see, my screen has been 43% has been taken out on the battery. So we'll just go ahead and see. Okay, so almost three hours I've been using the screen. And Google Maps for some reason, because I have location services on, and I use Google Now quite often. Google Maps takes a chunk of large chunk of my battery as well. So you can see it's been on for. 25 minutes and it's taking a whole bunch because of GPS and some other stuff. Android system takes battery. I've also been browsing for maybe 5 minutes, not too much. I've been on the phone for around 16 minutes, not too much again. I've also played Temple Run, but for some reason it's not coming up here. Probably used way low battery than this. But yeah guys, overall the battery life has been very impressive. Some people have reported more than 50% increase. I would say not really 50%, but around 25% to 30%. It has definitely been a lot better. So you can see it went all the way, and then it just went down, boom. But it's still going down, so we're still on guys. We're still surviving, we'll make it through hopefully through this video so battery life is a huge thing and many people have been complaining about it especially on my galaxy nexus i think the battery life was horrible i had no idea that just a mere update could help a lot so it definitely did help in terms of battery life so that's the second point the third point is that some new little features have been added such as if i tap and hold um <clears throat> these two toggles over here if i tap and hold bluetooth it would turn on if I tap and hold Wi-Fi, it would turn on, and I can turn it off the same way. Just tap and hold, goes off. Tap and hold, it goes off. Another thing is that people have been getting some Bluetooth Bluetooth issues. Excuse me, and uh, I was one of the people. What happened was when I turned my hands-free on and I turned my Bluetooth on, it just doesn't go through. So right now, I'll just go and grab my hands-free real quick, and we'll see how it goes. Alright guys, so I'm back. I have a Motor Motorola Bluetooth headset. I'll just turn it on and and then I'll turn on my Bluetooth over here and we'll see how long it takes to connect. So it connected right away. Normally it took me a while and sometimes it didn't connect at all. I had to manually go to the headset over here and click on pair or connect and that way it would I had to manually do it but right now sometimes it would automatically connect sometimes I had to manually do it but right now it's just been a breeze it connects real easily 
and disconnects really easily as well. So these are the three main features that I've noticed right away. If you guys have noticed anything else, please be sure to leave that in the comment section below. Do give the video a thumbs up guys if you like what I do and if you subscribe that will help me a lot and uh, thanks a lot for watching this video guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.